Hi guys, Ready Set RC back again today, and today we have the Traxxas Vortec 2.0 doing a final review of this car. Uh, so basically, we got this as a brushed edition of the Traxxas Vortec 2.0 back in 2017 when it was originally released. Uh, at the time when we got this RC, the brushless edition wasn't even introduced at the time. So we went ahead, picked up the brushed edition, automatically put a VXL system in here and started to make this a brushless on-road RC. Uh, as you guys can see now, we have the Ford GT body on here. I primarily use this body as a show body. I do not run this body. I'll put on later on in the video the, sh the run body that we use, but we've made several modifications to this RC at this point. And we'll run through those changes as we go through the review. In typical fashion, we'll go through our normal review, talking about electronics, drivetrain, handling and suspension, durability, which uh, for on-road, there's not really too much durability to really talk about, but we'll talk about it. Workability, support, is it worth it? And would I buy it again? So in typical fashion, TQI controller, Tried and true, no issues whatsoever with the controller and also, and no issues with the receiver. I was able to get a very good range with the controller and the receiver, no issues whatsoever. Excellent for this vehicle. So as I was stating to you guys before, I swapped out the ESC and the motor on this. So I am currently running the, the VXL system in here. No issues with temps running with the VXL system in here. I run this only on 3S. I've never ran this on 2S and I've never had any problems with heat or cutting out or any issues with the VXL system in this, in this car. As for the servo, at this point guys, originally we had the stock servo on here. We swapped out to a Savox servo on here and I'll put all models in the description of this video. I really do like the Savox servo that's in here now. Now, I did not have an issue with the Traxxas servo that was in here, but once we started upping the speeds on this car, we really needed a servo that could keep up. And that was the only reason why I swapped out and put the Savox servo in this car. So next guys, let's talk about the drivetrain in here. And on this vehicle, it's a steel drive shaft. Uh, I know that they have an upgraded drive shaft on here. I did not swap that out for this car. Also the drive shafts, the front and rear drive shafts on here are, are steel. No issues whatsoever, did not swap them out. For this vehicle and for the speeds that I'm getting, had no problems whatsoever with the with the steel drive shafts in here. Kind of glad that they did not have plastic drive shafts in this. Normally what you see for on-road cars is going to be a steel drive shaft in these cars. Um, and I didn't have any issues whatsoever with them on this vehicle. Handling and suspension. I don't know how you can take this because it's not a bad thing per se with this with the with the handling and suspension. So on this vehicle, I have swapped out the plastic, uh, the fixed plastic uh, links that were in here and I have now put metal turnbuckles all throughout. Was I having any issues with the, with the plastic ones? No, but uh, since I was increasing the speed, that was another one of the upgrades that I did on this car. So I did not have an issue with the plastic ones. It was just a matter of as I'm increasing speed, I just wanted more stability, a little bit more rigidity on this vehicle. And, that, and that's why we went with the metal ones. As for the tires in regards to handling, once again, did not have a problem with the stock tires on this, but, but do remember, as I said, this was a brushed RC. The brushed tires are completely different than the brushless tires that they released afterwards. So I immediately just went for tires that I was looking for that would be able to handle the terrain that I was driving in. I, I decided at that point to go with some foams. As I said, I will put in the description all parts used on this vehicle, but clearly I went with foams on here. Uh, you could probably go with another compound if you find that you wanna use something that's it's rubber, but I went with foams on here. I love the foams on this, guys. It, it, it really does grip well on the road. If you watch my other videos, I clearly state I am not going for speed runs, but I am looking for something that is a, 
excellent on-road handling vehicle and these tires give it to me. Durability. Uh, this is probably the one, first time I'm going to skip this section and the reason for skipping the durability discussion is that it's an on-road car. Um, unless you smash into a curb which at that point it's no longer questioning durability it's it's just the car and the curb. Um, there's no real discussion to talk about with this. Uh, I have not broken anything on this car. The most I've has happened is that I've lost uh, one of these body mounts that are up here and I can't even tell you when that happened or how that happened. Chances are it was on my last run when I ran it. It was a hot day and I ran it without the body, without the body on there. I think I caught a flip. I lost the body support mount that was up on here. But for the most part, it's durable, guys. It's on-road. It's not really a discussion in regards to durability for an on-road car. Uh, workability. This vehicle, I must say, is one of the easiest on-road vehicles I have ever worked on. Um, you know, everything is exposed. It's, it's a modular design. The front just pops off. The rear just pops off. Everything's exposed for you to work on. I did not have an issue whatsoever on this car. Um, at this time, I just find that this is a very workable and easy uh, vehicle to do any form of um, modifications to. Support. Once again, um, it's a Traxxas. I did not have any issues in getting the parts that I got for this vehicle. The parts were readily available. Uh, I got nothing negative to say about a, a part support on this vehicle. And next, guys, let's go into the segment, is it worth it? Uh, just a full disclaimer, when I first got into RC approximately 18 years ago, on road is where I started. Um, I started with Tamiya kits and clearly you guys, if you have been watching my videos, I've stated this before, I started off with Tamiya kits. Then slowly as the ready to run market started to get up, I started getting ready to runs. Of all the on road cars that I have, by far this vehicle is a joy to drive. I really do enjoy the Traxxas Vortec 2.0. Um, for the price point, is, is, is that the value or is there value in that? Vehicles that are out there for a brush vehicle may be a little high. I'd like to see that drop down a little bit more, but I understand there's licensing and everything else that comes with a vehicle. Because I think when you compare it to other brushed vehicles out there, I think that price point may be a little bit too high. Would I buy this again? Yes, no question about it. I really do enjoy this car. Uh, I would buy the brush edition just like I did now and upgrade it as I like. Uh, I wish they really came out with this as a kit version. Uh, don't supply anything with it. Do not give me the motor. Don't give me tires. Don't even give me a body. I know that they have the edition where they supply the vehicle without the body to it. I don't want electronics. I don't want anything in it. Give it to me as a kit similar to like how Tamiya does it to theirs. Let me build it up from scratch. Let me do my own modification, my own grease in my own locations. And let me run it that way. I would love to see that come out in this car. I would love to see a kit version of it. Uh, but yes, I would buy this again. I found this vehicle to be a joy to drive. I really do enjoy driving this vehicle. As you've seen in some of my videos, uh, you know, as the vehicle has gone from the beginning to the end. And I do encourage you to go back and watch those videos of when I first started off with this car to where it is now, because it definitely did not start in this fashion. And you'll see the changes that it's gone through over time. And I have to say, it's been a fun, this has been a fun ride going through with this. This vehicle will always be in my collection. But that's it guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram for our latest post to the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.